Okay, so welcome to see the last presentation of Con conference. Uh, it's going to be Juho Salami talking about MVM and AI. <laughs> Lots of acronyms there. So let's give a big round of applause for Juho. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yes, I love acronyms and the main reason I chose MVM Heart AI just because I wanted to bring these acronyms together. Um, so I've been working now at GoFor for th two months and I've realized that my job is to replace middle managers with artificial intelligence. Um, the purpose of this uh, talk uh, is to help you understand why artificial intelligence, advanced analytics, machine learning uh, are crucial for minimum viable management to scale further uh, in the growing go for and perhaps at our customers as well. As well. Mm, uh, also, I want to share some ideas what we could do with the current da data we have at Go4. Uh, what data could we perhaps collect to uh, improve uh, or uh, minimum viable management? And uh, good presentations begin with definitions of terminology. So, minimum viable management, can you eat it? Uh, perhaps. So, what is it? Can, does, does somebody have an idea? I can repeat it in the microphone. What's minimum viable management? I think this company is talking about minimum viable management. I think you have some ideas. Yes, it's minimum viable management. <laughs> it's minimum viable management. Ah, okay. Tautology. Um, okay. Well, um, I, well, I can give my explanation then. So. What I've understood, so they, I tr actually tried to look up uh, in Confluence what, what this, this means, uh, but I didn't understand, so I came up with my own explanation. Uh, so uh, I think it's running the company with that little, at, as little management as possible, especially without middle management. Mm -hmm. So how do we do that? Uh, uh, Self-organized working culture, that's one thing that's uh, needed. Uh, digitalization, uh, we need to communicate over Slack, we need Confluence and that sort of stuff. Uh, and uh, do you notice something familiar? Because this is, uh, these two things like the working culture and digitalization are go force mission. So maybe minimum viable management is go force mission actually. Um, so why do we need minimum viable management? Uh, less overhead, less managers, so we have a higher overall, overall utility rate. Uh, we have more autonom autonomy as, uh, as uh, developers and uh, management consultants and whatnot. And uh, it's the only way to make consultant business to scale as we don't need more managers as the team grows. Uh, yeah, and this is not yet Timur seal of approval, so don't trust on my, my instinct on what MVM is. So, AI, can it eat you? Yes. Um, so, artificial intelligence, it's a kind of vague term, and uh, some of AIs are less intelligent, some are more intelligent, uh, but one of the fundamental things about AI is it's an optimization algorithm making some sort of autonomous decisions. Uh, here are some some AI algorithms and uh, terminology. Uh, there's also the machine learning thing. So uh, machine learning, it's... Uh, Statistical techniques to give computer systems the ability to learn, e.g., progressively improve performance on specific tasks with data without being explicitly programmed, directly from Wikipedia. Uh, and uh, yeah, we have plenty of different methods around machine learning, and uh, uh, typically uh, AI. Uh, solutions uh, use some sort of machine learning techniques and pretty much any machine learning technique can be used in uh, AI application. 
then we have the cool artificial neural networks uh, and uh, their uh, uh, artificial neural networks are computing systems vaguely inspired by biological neural networks and uh, then we have the greatest buzzword of all deep learning which is just a family of deeper and more complex complex neural uh, networks so here is some some of the buzzwords that we keep hearing around artificial intelligence and uh, these we can all use to minimize viable management right so why should minimum viable management love artificial intelligence uh, my claim is that the regular means of digitalization can't scale go for for much longer without adding more and more middle management so basically we should be using ai to replace middle management or <laughs> preventing it them to be hired so uh, in order to fuel the AI we need data we have all, we have plenty of data in go for we have hota data personal description skills skill levels interest levels jobs projects resourcing sales pipeline and in the near future we will have a go for pulse or feeling meter that will be uh, will be using to tell how we're feeling uh, and uh, we have planned meal data, hours, costs, the Slack discussions, we have Confluence. Uh, what else do we have? Ideas? We have this video material, for instance. Uh, well, we have plenty of data. We can fuel, fuel artificial intelligence with this. Um, yeah. So, mm, now to the examples uh, how how we could minimize the uh, management at go for uh, one uh, w one one problem like problem or uh, one thing that we need managers for is c uh, finding right people to write projects um, we're currently building a data database segmentation oh, whoop segmentation model to uh, kind of create segments what kind of what kind of segments of people we have we have probably data analysts we have uh, uh, like full stack engineers with more back-end experience we have front-end engineers we have uh, management consultants and whatnot uh, and we're trying to create these segments uh, uh, directly from data not uh, not from uh like something that's been put in my work contract for instance uh you based on our descriptions based like based on our uh, skills based on our uh, personal descriptions and so forth uh so um so how so this is a matching problem we want to match the right people right projects we have uh, descriptions of projects we have all we can add so all sorts of metadata what what kind of uh, positions what kind of skills we need there's the project description itself uh, and then then we have people we have their descriptions uh, especially skills and their interests uh, project history, their feelings, how they felt in their previous projects, uh, and all this this data we can use to uh, predict uh, what kind of projects these people would like to join, uh, where these people would be the would be in their maximal potential, and uh, we could start. For instance, there could be a Heidi Hotta bot that would, when we get uh, we we get a new offer in in our sales pipeline in Hotta, uh, there could be a notification from Heidi Heidi Hotta that hey you ho, there's an opening, there's a new offer that could need your your skills. Do you would you would this this sort of project be of your interest? Then I'd nah, this is not for me. Then Heidi would ask uh, why. 
and uh, I actually want to do more data science, not backend stuff. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, maybe you should ask, add some uh, data science skills in your hoto, so we could offer you better, better projects. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe maybe I'll do that, and then I would get feedback. Okay. So these are actually the project you would like, and uh, and. Uh, I could start upvoting, downvoting projects, and the system would start learning what uh, what I want to do, uh, what what kind of skills I actually have, and so forth. And then we would start getting better matches for people to projects. And uh, these these can be done very uh, automatically without any managers, uh, in the best case. Uh, yeah, and of course, other way around, we could, when I add a project uh, or offer uh, in, in Hot or wherever, I would see what kind of uh, developers we have and who would be the best matches, uh, who would be available when the project start and, and so forth. So uh, we could start predicting better where, where we're heading, heading with the projects and uh, where we're heading with our career. Um, <coughs> uh, I think there was yesterday Rita Alkola posted uh, this, this uh, article about people having difficulties uh, realizing what's their full potential uh, and uh, AI can actually help with that. Uh, if, if we notice that, okay, I don't thrive in certain projects uh, uh, th I don't thrive with doing certain uh, certain tasks we could uh, the system could be perhaps telling maybe maybe you or you should try something else uh, the system could be asking uh, would these projects be of your interest is is for instance uh, here's Seppo would he, is he your is he your idol do you want to do the same job as Seppo and uh, and then then I would oh yeah Seppo is, Seppo is my idol I, I love asking people about their uh, registered hours and then then uh, then the system would tell me okay you need these skills uh, in order to to uh, uh, to kind of move on uh, in your career to reach the position where Seppo is currently. Um. Whoop. Okay, this went well. Okay, what else could we do? Salary negotiations. Uh, we have data of people's skills. We have data of people's uh, salaries. We could actually predict what people's salaries could be. Uh, and then we could automate actually salary negotiations. No more, no more uh, people person joining in in this, this sort of stuff. Uh, we could do recruiting. We see in the, in the uh, sales pipeline that there are these and these skills needed in in next two three months. So please start recruiting these sort of uh, talents. Uh, invoicing, it's probably no rocket surgery to invoice stuff, so why don't we automate it even further? Same goes perhaps for responding to calls for tender. Uh, I guess it's kind of copy-paste more or less uh, in the best case uh, responding and we could even put the people automatically from Hohto to tenders. Mm, we could, from the feeling meter, we could start uh, perhaps noticing which projects uh, we see that the customer is unsatisfied or, or uh, developers are unsatisfied and uh, diagnose where, what would be the cause and that this project could need help. So let's, let's rush in and help them. And there are plenty, plenty of other stuff that we could do with uh, AI, machine learning and advanced analytics. Do you have ideas? Where else we could use? Yeah. Okay, you can think about that. We, we will start implementing as soon as we have 
uh, time for all this. Um, so I have one okay. <laughs> Regarding the scaling, is it also applicable to, for example, subcontractors to include into this kind of a uh, system so that uh, subcontractors' skills could be imported here and uh, they could be considered as a as a method for growth? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe even our competitors. We will be. <laughs> I don't know. But but yeah, like of course. I, I think that that would be. I think that's where we're heading currently uh, with our subcontractors. Uh, maybe even recruiting. Maybe maybe people that we recruit, we should have their hot profile. Uh, it, instead of them the setting a CV, we sh they should actually fill their auto profile and we could already start selling them directly and then we, we've already sold them before we hire them so that would be perhaps a way to go i don't know what gdpr says about this any other ideas right okay uh there was some ideas uh, thank you. Uh, remember to welcome our AI middle managers. And uh, as a last thing before questions and answers, I'll g throw you in a joke, which was pretty popular recently. So a concerned parent asks, if all your friends jumped off a bridge, would you follow them? And since uh, we have all this data of friends jumping off the bridge, uh, as a machine learning algorithm, I say yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so if you have any questions, please raise your hand. I'll give you the microphone. Uh, I've been participating in mo uh, many uh, calls uh, for tender and uh, uh, basically, I have spent a lot of time uh, filling in the forms mm. required by the by the customer, and uh, Hota has been very helpful. I have been able to uh, find the information from uh, information from there, like uh, how many years I have experience in this specific stuff. Mm. Uh, but I'm wondering how we can actually achieve, or I I, I mean, it would be really wonderful to have that. Uh, automated by mm, yeah. <laughs> by by something but uh how uh far can we actually get can we actually go to the point that the uh, uh, machine uh, automatically fills in the all the forms required by the customer because the for forms are all always uh in different like they are excel sheets and word documents right. and different uh uh, pieces there and there and there and you have yeah. to copy paste your information yeah. and so on that is the problem the problem is not the information oh, right. the problem is the form right right yeah yeah of course like if it was a standard it would be easier to train uh, but uh, natural language processing has uh, had really good like progress recently so it might actually be that uh, already we could do quite a lot so uh it's hard to say without seeing the forms and uh and without having the training data but it it might be that we could at least get to some extent having the forms uh, pre-filled by ai yep next question yep so are we implementing these things and do we have a support from the head of the company? I think these are really beneficial. Yeah, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, we're, um, I think we're, we're uh, having a lot of support from the company uh, management. Uh, and uh, yes, we're implementing uh, more or less work and uh, like I said, we're currently working on the mapping uh, mapping as uh, the segmentation of our uh, skill pool, what kind of uh, talents we have here. Uh, and uh, next up, we're perhaps building a bot that would be uh, asking about feelings and uh, perhaps a bot that would be asking uh, which skills you might be missing currently with what you haven't added there. Uh, 
uh, and using these data we're then going to do some more analytics around this but yeah i would love to have more uh, developers working on this <coughs> what about the database and how do you kind of uh, collect these all all of these data so do you think that the problem is uh, might be with the schema and table da databases that we currently use here basically um well we have well in hohto we have so little data that uh i don't think it really matters like it just as long as it's easy to use it 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 it's fine what we currently have but of course uh, once we have more and more if we have like terabytes of data then we have to consider which w how how we should actually process this and which databases to use okay next question <laughs> Uh, thanks for the really good presentation. I saw there was a note of an AI handling uh, salary negotiations. Yeah. <laughs> uh, could you please tell me how the hell that would work? <laughs> well, um, well, we have have uh, or uh, in Hoto, for instance, we have our skills, uh, we have our history, uh, project history, work history how many months, years of experience, and so forth. So we, based on these, we can, uh, like, and based on the salary data that we have, we could make, a, and where we're located, we could make uh, predictions on what m my salary uh, uh, could be. So that, uh, of course, these are, th there's probably some data missing that's crucial in, in the decision making, but technically we could do that. So you're talking about salary predictions and not the actual negotiations. Oh yeah, uh, the negotiation project, the uh, process itself, yeah. But maybe we could actually automate that as well. <laughs>